Hey guys, today we're going to try to figure out how thick a piece of aluminum foil is. Not its length, not its width, because we can measure those easily enough, but its thickness. A ruler isn't going to be able to do the trick. So if you can't measure the thickness of the aluminum foil directly, how are you going to measure it? Well, you're going to measure it indirectly. Now there's one thing about aluminum you need to be able to figure out before you can figure out the thickness of the aluminum foil. Now, this is aluminum. This is also aluminum. And this is also aluminum. So what do these three things have in common? Well, we know their masses are probably different. Their volumes are definitely different. But the proportion of mass to volume is identical in all three of these samples. Aluminum is a pure substance. And therefore, if the temperature is the same, the density will be the same. The proportion of mass to volume will be the same for any sample of pure aluminum, assuming the temperature is the same. So your first goal is to find the thickness of aluminum. You can use either the cube or you can use the block. You're going to take the mass of the aluminum, then you're going to record its volume in two different ways. One, you can do length, width, and height. And second, you can do water displacement. And you're going to take the mass of these. And of course, the mass over the volume will give you the density. Once you have the density, you're going to need to do a little bit of algebraic trickery. Because you can use the density of aluminum along with only a few measurements of this piece of aluminum foil and end up with the thickness of the piece of aluminum. Your first step is to record the mass of your piece of aluminum. Then measure the length, width, and height of your aluminum cube or block. Slide the piece of aluminum into the water and record the new volume. Once you finish with the measurements, you can start working on the calculations. First calculate the volume by length, width, and height, and then calculate the density using the same mass for both, but using the volume for water displacement for one calculation and the volume from length, width, and height for the other calculation. Then average the two densities together and place it in the bottom, then call your teacher over. Now that you know the density of aluminum, figure out what you need to calculate the thickness of the aluminum foil and go ahead and determine it. 